today's video, I am making bait. I'm making bait beef ramen. So I already got my noodles like in here boiling and stuff, but before we get into that, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more videos coming up. So I already got my noodles boiling right now. I am right now grounding my ground beef. And I'm gonna show y'all the seasonings that I'm gonna put in it. Um, yeah, we're gonna get into this video. So I got one of my favorite seasonings. I got one of my favorite seasonings. We're gonna get some of this nature seasoning. I'm just gonna put just a little bit. We don't really need that much in there. We're gonna go in there with some dash with some garlic and herb seasoning. Onion powder. Black pepper. Garlic salt. Adobo. So after you season it, you go ahead and mix it very well. And cook until you see no pink inside the ground beef. Just keep cooking until you see no more pink. Is what? If you ain't sneezing, is what? Alright, not, not seasoning. So while the ground beef is cooking and the noodles boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and put up my seasonings because I don't need no more of that. I would go ahead and show y'all me seasoning like the chicken and stuff, but I already did that. So, I already had that seasoned already. So, this is the ground beef. It's the, the noodles boiling. This is how my chicken look seasoned. I just put the same seasons I put on the ground beef, which is a little bit more extra seasoning. I added accent and salt to this and mustard. And I'm going to be putting this in the oven. I'm going to butter these before I put them in the oven. And the sauce we're using for this is Prego traditional sauce. This is what you use. I don't know about y'all, but this is what I use. So before I carry on with this video, I'm going to pause this and get everything situated. I'll be, all right? Just keep checking on your, on your meat. Just keep checking it. Just keep mixing to make sure there's no more pink, y'all. This pink is not good. Keep mixing until you see no pink. All right? Until you see no more pink. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here so I can go ahead and drain the meat and all that. And I'm going to show y'all me putting in the sauce and stuff, all right? All right, so now I'll drain my meat. So what I'm going to do is separate from the hot eye before it don't stick the meat to the pan. And then that's when you're gonna go ahead and open your prego sauce. Open it carefully. This how I look on the inside. So I'm gonna bring it back over here. Try to kind of see it too. I'm try to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. Go ahead and mix it. I 
I'm like a little sugar in mine. Sugar. Don't put a lot of sugar, just a little bit. So, <clears throat> we're going to let this semi cook for probably 10 minutes. Let that sit for 10 minutes. Let that sit for 10 minutes. I'm going to try to put this back. So while that simmer down for about 10 more minutes, we're going to go ahead and check on our noodles. Always check on y'all noodles. Y'all want to stick to the um, pan, onto the pot at the bottom. And it's my fault because I should have just kept checking on it. The pot down. I'm gonna be back once I get everything drained. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. Dang, looks like that. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the pan so it didn't have a bit of oven. And I'm gonna go ahead and start frying my chicken. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that too. So, stay tuned for that also. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I did it. So that's how it looks so, so far. I layered it. I put the the, um, the beef on the end first, then I layered with cheese, and I put it back on top. And I had used a little bit of cheese I had left to put on top. And let that go in the oven and melt for a little bit. And I'm going to show y'all the after results when it's done. So I'm just right now, I'm waiting on the deep fryer to get hot. So I can go ahead and fry the chicken. And um, I'm going to show y'all when I fry this chicken. I'm going to show y'all. And then um, I'll be doing Oh, and also, I'm going to cook these as well. I'm going to just melt some butter and put that on top. And I'm going to just show y'all the afterwards, after though, okay? So stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to put my chicken on. So after I get that fried up, I'm going to show y'all how everything going to look after I'm done. I also season my flour, too. I use the same seasoning as I use on the chicken on the flour, so... Make sure you keep checking your chicken, let that cook until everything floats to the top. You don't want no raw chicken right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on these right here. Let me back this up. Um, so what I'm going to do is... So I get a cut. I'm gonna get this butter. Make sure you melt. Put the, put the butter in the cup. Microwave for 30 seconds. And while that's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. The pack. This is how they work. Now, this is my favorite. I love these. So I'm going to get this. 